Hi, I'm Emily Gould. I'm here with Annika Boris, who plays Lady Macbeth in Macbeth. How are rehearsals going? They're going really well. Um, it's a it's a wonderful experience working with such talented people. Erin um, Arbus is an unbelievable woman. Um, I am completely uh, blown away by her insight into this play and um, her ease at kind of guiding this group of very talented actors. You know, we did a whole first week of reading the text and just breaking down the text uh, in terms of meaning, asking, you know, what, what does this word mean mm -hmm. to what, what does this idea mean to um, what are the intentions behind the, each character, the different motivations, what's happening off stage, which we don't see but is intrinsic to the plot, right? filling in the blanks. Um, and that was a whole, you know, week almost of sitting down at a table and just really, you know, sinking our hands into the text, which is a, a blast to do and a really nice way to kind of begin to create the family that is the cast, you know. And every day I feel like another mile, you know, has been um, conquered and um, more questions are are coming up and uh, and deeper understanding and relationships are being formed and um, it's yeah this is a, it's an unbelievable process and it's it's really exciting so far. What are you doing to prepare? Just sort of physically, like I know you probably have stuff in your training that has prepared you. To well, I I I I don't think I'll be able to track the the physical. Uh, it demands of this role really until we actually have costumes lights set mm -hmm, and we're mm -hmm. doing runs you know mm -hmm. so I, I probably won't know she kind of disappears for a while there's a lot that's going on for her that's really off stage that's not mm -hmm. written in Shakespeare's text so you know I kind of have an easy job you know I oh mean, yeah it's, yeah <laughs> yeah it's cool. um it's yeah. not it's not going to be um very taxing physically maybe mentally and emotionally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and I don't know, you know, I have yet yeah. to know, but no, I, totally. but I know it's really yeah. early in the process, so yeah. it's hard to talk about that stuff. <laughs> um, can you tell me more about what it's like to work with Erin? She has the ability to allow her ideas and her vision of the play to just seep into the actor's understanding of the play. It sounds sort of psychic or mystical. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that it has. It's the <laughs> mystical powers of Erin Arbus, but right. I, I think it's. Um, she's very subtle. That's a gift. I don't know where you learn how to do that. I think she just has this really wonderful way of being able to communicate in a way that is very, um, just subtle. It's the only way I can say it, but very potent. You mm -hmm. know, um, to have a woman director for a role like Lady Macbeth is uh, is a huge gift. Yeah, I guess I'm interested in the work that she encourages you to do in terms of thinking about what your character does and says and thinks about when she's not on stage or even before the play has started. I think that the most important part of um, doing the backstory for Lady Macbeth and Macbeth is their relationship, where they came from. I mean, there is some serious love between the two of them. And um, what they've experienced previous to where the play begins has got to be understood between the two actors. It's not, uh, there's a lot of references you can read into and you can find little uh, details and facts that you can piece together. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I would assume that any two actors playing these roles would want to find a backstory together, you know, to um, really have an understanding of where they've come from mm -hmm. um, when it was true love and uh, no complication, um, what drew them together, what what qualities in the in in um, in each other brought them together in the first place, um, and how they experienced challenges together in the past and uh, what has led them up into this point. Do you bring sort of memories or thoughts from your life into, into your sort of witch's brew? Of I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily a method actor, mm -hmm. um, but my life experiences inform all of my understanding of 
human interaction, you know, as, as does everyone's. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I, I try to relate it as best I can to m what very small uh, experiences I've had. I, what's been neat is that John has been sharing some of his relation, you know, things that remind, yeah. things that remind him of past relationships he's had. And so now even his memories of, you know, s some of his past relationships are in my, uh, my consciousness about our relationship. What draws you to this character? Mm -hmm. It's been a blessing to um, be given this role at this time. I feel like somehow by growing up, you just end up learning more about the spectrum of human experience, you know, what is possible, and um, that each of us has the capability of being a martyr or a murderer. Thank you so much for making the time to do this, especially after a long and hard day of being Lady Macbeth. <laughs> um, it's been great to talk to you, and I can't wait to see the show. I can't believe how soon it will be, but I'm psyched. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It was sure. fun. Sure. Yeah. <laughs>